What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again from SamBeGiver.com here, and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, show you guys a very cool trick that is brought to you by one of our own writers at SamBeGuru, Josh Skinner, who posted this over on his X account. You can get the One UI Sans font system wide, which is actually not possible if you do it through the stock settings, but with a quick and easy trick using an app that I've previously made tutorials on, which is called ZFont3, you can actually do this. And so today we're going to look at this tutorial how to apply One UI Sans system-wide on One UI 8 with a very simple trick. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys, make sure you check out the website, samiguru.com, for all the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Bookmark the site, add us as a preferred source on Google News and Google Discover, so you get all of our great content and you stay up to date with the latest updates and all the other cool tips and tricks for your Galaxy device. If you're in the U.S., you can also tap on that orange banner there at the top. You'll get a free case cleaning kit desktop phone stand, 65 watt wireless charger. You're also gonna get USB-C wired earbuds in the box for every single Galaxy S26 order. All you have to do is tap on the box here, put in your phone number, email, or both. Now this is a US only program, of course, because we do ship the physical boxes. It'd be very expensive to do it if we did it internationally, but we cover all the shipping costs, all the cost of the items in the boxes. All you have to do is use our affiliate link, which goes directly to Samsung, on launch day to order. So if you sign up, you'll get the link to do that, and then you'll give us your shipping address and we ship it out. Check that out in the pinned comment description if you're interested. We do appreciate the support and we love giving back to our readers and viewers. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Let's go back to our article here. Here are the steps to get this done. So what you're gonna do first is download the ZFont 3 app from the Google Play Store. So you're gonna go here, go to the Play Store, Find ZFont 3. I'll actually drop a link below so you don't have to search for it. You can just go ahead and just click the link and download that directly from the description. It'll be a lot easier that way. You'll see ZFont 3 right here. You can enable that. I had it downloaded already. just haven't used it in a while. If you need to download it, you can do that again from the link. Hit open to obviously open ZFont 3. And you can see it says there's a new update available. So if you do have a new update, then you'll want to go back there and grab that first. In this case, again, I haven't used the app in a little while. So that's why I have an update waiting. You do have to grant notification access here um, in order to display the download status if you want to have that, obviously. So once you have that all set, go back to our article at Sammy Guru and click on this link to go to Josh's Twitter, or his X, sorry, you know, I'm so used to that. And it'll open it up and then you can download the two relevant files here, uh, regular 400 and bold 700 for you. And what you'll be able to do and go ahead and download both the regular and the bold and then those will be stored of course on your phone's internal storage you might have to obviously sign into google which you guys seen i had to do there once those are stored you'll be able to go back to the steps and you'll see next you're going to go to the downloads tab and then load the 400 files so you're going to go into zfont 3 go to the downloads tab tap the plus icon load your file here which you're going to grab again you can go into downloads here and then find the most recent one this is the 400 file so i'm going to tap on that one that one will now get loaded so once you've loaded the file you're going to select it tap apply the tick mark is at the bottom right and select one ui8 and follow the on-screen instructions so i'm going to go through those with you guys now since we didn't go through that fully in the article so what you're going to do is go you see that there you're going to select this down here you're going to hit apply and then you're going to go down to one ui8 which is experimental but there's no problem it's very simple to do no worries we're going to have to install shizuku which allows you to get wireless adb access which is pretty simple i've used this for many other things like flashing those one ui8.5 test builds you guys have seen me do on the channel so once you've installed shizuku the way you use shizuku is you're going to need to pair it using wireless debugging First thing to do, allow notifications from Shizuku because you're going to get the pairing code. We'll see in a second. Tap developer options. You're going to open this. Scroll down. You're going to find wireless debugging. Turn this on. And then I'm going to allow it on this network all the time. You're going to hit pair with device pairing code 433722. We're going to go up here to the Shizuku notification 433722. And we're going to hit send. It's going to say pairing successful. You can now start Shizuku. We'll go back over here to the Shizuku app and we're going to hit start. Now it will start it and the window will close in three seconds and then you'll be good to go. Once you've done that and it says up here Shizuku is running, 
you'll be able to go back to the Zfont 3 application and now you'll be able to allow Shizuku all the time access from Zfont 3. Um, and then what you can do is go over to the download folder and then we're going to apply each of these fonts. So you're gonna tap on the regular one. You can actually do them in one shot, which was missed in our tutorial uh, that we wrote over on Sammy Guru. You, it says you have to do them one at a time, but that's not fully true. I'll, I'll modify that. Uh, you can tap this, go to One UI 8. Again, it'll ask for that Shizuku access, which we already have. Down here, you can then go to bold font and choose the bold font that you've selected. So here you see I've got the regular one loaded for regular, the bold for bold, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit create. It will create it and then you'll get a message saying that it changed it. Now, what I've noticed is because this is experimental, you may not see the bold in all the places it should be in these headings. So what you may have to do, and this happens a lot with Z font three, is you may need to do a reboot. So let's try to do a reboot and then we should be able to see those bold elements. You may have to just play with it a little bit because right now it is experimental, but you do get your One UI sans throughout the interface elements and the bold, hopefully they'll update it so that's a little more stable so the bold works everywhere that it should, but this process does give it themed throughout all the interface elements where typically using the stock settings, you wouldn't be able to get this. And so I think this is a great method using Zfont 3. So if you guys want to give it a try, let me know what you think. Again, this is experimental, like, like I said, using Shizuku to do this in Zfont 3. So keep that in mind. It's easy to reverse it. Like I said, you can always go back, reset your font if you don't like the results inside Zfont 3 as well. Curious to see you guys' experience. Uh, let us know what you find in your, your device, what device you're using. Again, also check out the website, samigur.com for more great Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one.